anyways, we um got in, we gave them the paper with your confirmation number, they checked to make sure you're not married, you paid them sixty dollars and they hand you a certificate and you're good to go. We were out of there in like ten minutes. Otherwise it takes you about an hour, but still it's not horrible. There's no blood test, there's no waiting period, and the license is good for a year. So we get out of there in like ten minutes and our chapel's only supposed to be or our our motel's only supposed to be about 10 minutes away, so we were so excited. We had got there early. We were going to have extra time. Uh, we ran, but uh, we ran into construction. We had rude drivers that would like cut us off and make us miss an exit. We it was pretty much anything you think that could happen on a trip happened, and we. The wedding was set to start at 6.30. They told us to get there at 10 till 6 so we could have our our photography shoot and everything before we were all melted and everything because it was like 110 in Vegas. So we were supposed to be there at 10 till 6. By the time we found our hotel room, it was, um, I think... Um, 6.15 or something like that. It was like 6.10, 6.15. It was ridiculous. Um, we get in there. Glenn's dad had also got lost, but he had found the hotel. Uh, he wasn't staying at the hotel, but we told him that's where we were going to be. He kind of came in, we talked a little bit. Uh, Glenn just grabbed his stuff and left with his dad to go change at the chapel and kind of tell them to wait. The good thing this chapel, the good, one of the good things about this chapel, and I'm going to be doing a review later, but uh, we were like the last wedding of the night and they went ahead and let us like move it a little bit so it wasn't as, you know, it wasn't stressful, but it was still pretty stressful. Um, so they moved it to like 7 and so it's just 30 or whatever. Um, I went to go get our rooms and I had reserved them, they had asked my age online, I told them my age, reserved them all with my credit card, got there, and then they told me that I was too young to reserve it. So I had to switch everything onto my mom's stuff and then, and then get the room. So that took like 15 minutes. Ran up, got dressed, um, I was just like throwing stuff on, or oh, Tearing stuff off, throwing stuff on. Mom was like lacing me as fast as she could. Luckily, my corset, um, I showed you it after it's laced up, you just have to button it. So, I just had to button that up real fast. I didn't have time to do makeup. I just put a brush through my hair. I didn't like style it like I was going to. I didn't put any product in it. Uh, I put my jewelry on in the car and, uh, oh, what? There was something else I didn't do. I don't remember. Anyways, in the meantime, um, well, a little bit before I guess, my brother surprised me. He ended up coming. He had planned it, surprised me, and uh, everybody, well, my mom had to pick him up, so she knew, but you know, surprised everybody, and he showed up, and that was exciting. Uh, Glenn's dad had actually tried to find the hotel from the chapel with the map quest directions, and he couldn't find it. So they went to find it, you know, him and Glenn, and then Michael went up to his room while I was changing and looked at other maps and stuff and found another way to get to the chapel so we could actually get there. So we get ready, I hop in the car, uh, I'm crowded in the back seat with my mom, I've got my dress all around, poopy and everything's everywhere, my mom's sitting by me, uh, my stepdad, or my brother's driving, my stepdad's up in the passenger seat and we go on this road that my brother found online that will take us there. That road was under construction, so we got all turned around, we got lost, they were calling us like, where are you, are you coming, do you have the rings, do you have this, do you have that. Um, his family, the chapel was calling us, everybody was calling us, we're like, oh my gosh, we're lost. Michael found his way just as we got somebody on the phone to tell us how to get there. So we get there, his two sisters and his dad are waiting outside for us. To kind of usher us in, and me and mom were super stressed. Like, mom was in tears, I was like shaking, I was 
so upset, like, I know things go wrong on your wedding day. I know no wedding day is ever perfect because something always happens. I've never heard of somebody say the wedding day went off without a hitch. They weren't late. Nothing happened. Everything was perfect. But this was just so horrible. And I don't know. I just couldn't imagine. It was, ugh. Uh, so, you know, they're trying to tell us what to do. And it was just frazzling us even more. But finally, we got it all straightened out. Uh got into the room and the photographer's like, okay, time to take pictures, and I'm like, great, my pictures are going to turn out crappy because I have no makeup on and my hair is just kind of brushed. Um, his sister was a lifesaver though, she came in with like this palette of makeup and did me, did it really fast and she got it really good, like I don't think my makeup's ever looked that good, and she did super, super fast, and she kind of brushed out my hair and straightened different things, and um, like in like eight minutes, seriously. Uh, they, uh, the photographer showed everyone out and he took some glamour shots, shots of me in the little bridal getting ready station time thing. So, um, oh, and then uh, my dress, at the end of my dress started spraying and uh, that was freaking me out too and uh, Audrey found some like pins and like pinned it up for me and that was good. Um, What happened next? Uh, the preacher came in and asked what kind of ceremony I wanted. Did I want like a religious ceremony, a civil ceremony, or just like a you're committing to each other for life ceremony thing? So I told him, you know, I wanted like a, a semi Christian ceremony, you know. Um, and then he asked who was going to walk me down the aisle. I told him my brother and my stepdad. He told us how to do it, um, everything. He left gave me a couple minutes like alone to like breathe in, breathe out sort of thing. And then uh, opened the door, let my brothers and uh, stepped that back in and the wedding started. And then he knocked on the door it was time for us to come out and walk into the chapel. So I walked into the chapel and the whole ceremony actually, the, the ceremony went well. I've got it on DVD. Kind of. I'll get to that later got it on DVD and the photographer was snapping pictures and after the ceremony we took some family pictures of the photographer and then some more with just Glenn and I and just Glenn and just I and then um, we got out they gave us our marriage certificate and um, had us sign a couple papers gave us our DVD and an envelope full of stuff and like all the papers and everything, you know, um, put the DVD in there, and then they ushered us to this other room uh, that had all these chairs, and the family got to go back there with the bride and groom and go through like the hundred shots that the photographer took and uh, pick out which ones we liked. So we did that, and we actually liked more than we had the money for, so we ordered them, and we will pay for them in the near near future and get those and those are other glamour shots so the ones we got were the ceremony shots and then we ordered some of the glamour shots and I was actually overall overall I guess I liked the photos there was a couple of them I didn't really like and um, they looked kind of orange I think it was just a combination of like my skin coloring and the background of the chapel uh, it was just kind of made me look orange but that's, a, that's another story. So, anyways, we did that. I was still in my dress. I was dying because I had asthma. It was 110, and I also had a corset on, and it was just not working. Um, I was going to go eat with my corset and my dress on. I, I just couldn't, because there's a thing in Vegas. I totally didn't know this, but they told us if you walk down the strip in Vegas with your wedding clothes on, people actually will like hand you money for like goodwill and all that stuff. Um, so we we were going to do that and we still might, we might go back <laughs> and put on our clothes and do it. Cause it's not like we've done it once and we're going to go back and do it again. We just were so tired we just didn't do it. So we might go back at some point and do it again. But until then, let me see.